Breaking news, my wonderful people. INEC has announced the kickoff date for campaign to begin in NS. And um, the, that's not even the crux of the matter. The most important thing is the rules that they have set in place. And in case you have not heard it, one of such rules is that you must not campaign. Or I don't know that you know we we'll talk about election now for church or for mosque. The penalty for that one, Naji term. Because they know say Peter will be, you know, he gets the backing of the church. You know, he's been going around the churches and a lot of people are with him, you know, and, um, you know, are, are soliciting a lot of support. And wherever, and whenever he goes to the churches, you know, the response, you know, the support is just unimaginable. So these are some of the things happening, you know, and um, why we all sincerely must speak out the truth. Now, see what INEC has got to say. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. 2023, INEC announces kickoff dates for open campaign and give strict rules in terms of political parties will be free to open campaign beginning from September the 28th. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has said yesterday. The electoral plan, the electoral commission says the release starts from September the 20th. The final list of candidates for next year presidential, senatorial, and House of Representatives election. According to INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakub, the commission, the publications of candidates list ahead of national election is in compliance with section 30. To subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022. It said the final list of governorship and House of Assembly elections will be published on October the 4th. Professor Yakub spoke in Abuja at the event organized by the Commission in collaboration with the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, on collect collating elections in Secure, security environment. He noted that particip participation for 2023 general election will enter critical stage this month. Yakub further stated that the engagement has become necessary because of the security situation in parts of the country and the implication of the forthcoming election. He said activities towards 2023 general election will enter critical stage this month in the next 19 days, especially the 20th of September, it will begin in Ennis. It says, it says the publication of the final list of candidates, National Assembly, Presidential, Senatorial, House of Representatives, as provided by Section 32, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act, and timetable and schedule for activity released by the Commission. This will be followed on the 4th of October 2022 by the publication of the final list of the candidate states elections, governorship, and, and state House of Assembly. Campaign in public by politician, political parties will officially commence 28th of September as provided for up in the Act of the 2022. It says... The campaign commence, commencement will lead all political parties to focus based on their campaign materials and not to go on and speak on one another or challenge one another in the terms of campaigning, but must do it without making, without making any provocative statement or causing things that could disturb the course of the campaign asking that all must be ready to ensure the campaign properly. Most importantly, everyone and anyone who campaigns and uses church as the basis for their campaign may be facing G term. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. This is what is going on. Anyone and everyone, they say when you go use church, they campaign or figo G. But why? Why? Why G? What thing happen? Waiting happen. So these are things that are going on, and then um, every one of us have to be sincerely ready, okay, to ensure that truth is being dispensed. Now the campaign, okay, is going to be dependent on you. It's going to be dependent on me. It's going to be dependent on us. Yeah, that's the campaign. It's going to be dependent on us, and so none of us should sit back there 
and pretend that all is well. These people you are seeing and all that is going on are clear indications that most of them already started seeing potential that some particular candidates have the favor of the people. Hence, they don't want such persons to come on board because they know that if such person come on board, you know, such individual, you know, such an individual may, you know, may carry the day. So they are being, you know, those who are scared do not want certain people to, you know, to, 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 to lead in that regard. However, we know who we are voting for. But you don't know who you won't vote for. Maybe we know who they vote for because they say, uh, as they go campaign, so students, first of all, remember, you day as now more than six months. Not because of any amount of money anybody won't give you. Just sell your bet right. Not sell them all. They will give you money. They will cost some of you. Greed. Greed, eh? Is, it takes nobody anywhere. Guess what? There's no amount of money you'll be given. You go spend them. Have you heard of the word? You go finish. No matter the amount of money, you will spend it. The money will get finished. And at the end of the day, you will regret. You will regret the consequences of your action. You will spend that money to get finished. Then you will regret it. Then you will regret it. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? The answer is no. That's the answer is no. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And so um, it has become important, imperative that every one of us, okay, every one of us must do what is necessary. Because the INEC chairman, Yakub is advising uh, Tinubu Atiku and Peter Obi, okay, he's advising them that uh, they must tell their supporters, you know, to, call, to conduct and, you know, uh, compose themselves in an orderly manner and fashion and that uh, nobody should use the derogatory word that the other person you know the other person nobody should uh, go there and do things that could you know possibly destroy anything that has to do with uh, you know do with destruction of peace bad enough there is already insecurity let's not heat up the political terrain more okay please guys don't let anybody use your bottom line don't let anybody use you this is at the end of the day your own children, they are abroad. Not let anybody use you, I beg. Not let anybody use you, I beg. Not let anybody use you. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. For most, it's bye for now. Bye. Remember, we must all vote. Oh, bye.